I'm Paul Elliott with Hash Rocket TV, and I'm sitting here with Jesse Proudman from Blue Box Group. So, you guys run your own cloud. You've been around a lot longer than AWS. Uh, how come you guys never moved to AWS? What, what do you like better about running your own cloud? Yeah, so we've been in business since 2003, owning and operating all of our own facilities and equipment. Uh, and what we found is, is that we've grown as a business and matured as a business. The control that, that owning and operating that equipment provides us around the final level of service the customer receives really is a, a big benefit for us. Uh, and the margin that you save, or, or perceived margin that you save, isn't, doesn't really outweigh that, that control benefit. So, uh, in the event of an outage, or in the event of, of some kind of uh, failure of equipment, we have the ability to be at the facility, to be actively working on, on fixing things, to know what's wrong. Where with uh, today's cloud providers, you're sort of at the whim of their status page. Right? Right. And the customer is at the whim of their status, and nobody can do anything about it. So you just have to sit there and wait. Um, so we, f we feel like uh, it, it puts the power back in our hands, and customers are paying us to run the infrastructure, uh, and so to have that power uh, is really allowing us to deliver on, on that customer promise. Now, obviously Amazon had this big outage. They were out pretty much all day uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, when you guys have a situation like that, and, and you've had a few over the years, um, you're able to just handle that right away, whereas a lot of the other guys had their hands tied. There's really nothing they can do. Right, so there's a the number of differentiators here between Amazon's platform and ours. The, the first is this notion of multi-tenancy. Uh, and so EBS is a platform that uh, sort of is this big underlying infrastructure that's divided between customers. We don't, uh, our fundamental principle is not to design any of our infrastructure in a multi-tenant configuration. So we really like to silo customers as much as we can. So our, our first distinctor, or distinctive fact is, is that we don't have uh, sort of a single point of failure of equipment that can take out our entire facility, with, with a, sort of two notable exceptions. The first is obviously the power delivery to the facility, so if we lose power um, and the, the backup uh, generators and batteries don't work, then, then obviously that can take us down. Uh, the second sort of core component is, is the networking equipment. So if we lose the networking equipment or there's some kind of, of routing issue, uh, that can take us down. So uh, those, but those are scenarios that affect everybody. Uh, that that distinctive third part is the fact that we don't have sort of that single SAN system or single uh, product that, that everything relies on to be running. And like you said, in, in the event of an issue, so we have had uh, since we've been in business since 2003, and in, in that time we have had a, a number of instances, uh, a small number of instances where there have been a, a power outage. You know, they, mm -hmm. you can only run things for 24 by 7 for so long before you know something there's a fluke somewhere in the system. Um, but in those events, we had the capability to be at the facility, to be working on our equipment, to get the equipment back online, to, you know, to prioritize the customers uh, appropriately and, and get everything back up. And so, where Amazon's outage lasted a day, or, or you know, Heroku was down for, for almost two and a half, uh, we were down for about two hours uh, because we had that capability to go in and, and be actively working on the equipment. Right. Now, a lot of the other providers have a one specific stack that they that they offer. You know, if I sign up with whoever, then I get MySQL or I get Postgres, and I don't really have any opportunity to customize. Is, your offering is a little more flexible. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, if you think about the product spectrum, we, we really think Heroku's built an amazing piece of technology. They allow anybody to get online really quickly, build an application, deploy it within minutes, uh, and use this, this plug-in infrastructure that they have to add in all these external tools that they need. And I think that's that's really great. Uh, Edging Garden has done a really good job at kind of covering that bid market, right? When you, maybe you've outgrown Heroku a little bit and you need a little bit more control or you need infrastructure that, that gives you, you want your own, you don't want to be in a multi-tenant configuration. You know, Edging Yard's kind of solved that problem, but you're still sort of stuck with the Edging Yard stack. And if you're not using software they support, you're kind of out, out on your own. Uh, we, we sort of look at ourselves as, as that, that higher end provider where we're, you're coming in and you're say, we're asking you, what, what services do you need? What do you need to run? Uh, and, and we'll go ahead and get those up and running and, and configured for you. Um, and so from a support perspective, there are certainly sort of a core set of, of 20 technologies or so that, that we have the most experience with. Uh, but we're not in a position where we'll say, all right, we're not going to support you as a customer because you're using something outside of that stack. Uh, we, we like to have an understanding with the customer so that they know it might not be a core competency of ours, but that we're still here to help them if something happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they continue to run it on our infrastructure with our team's help. Um, so we'll still monitor it, you know, we'll react in the event of an outage of a service, and we'll help them get it back online. Um, and I think that level of flexibility really is something that's unique uh, within the Rails hosting space and, and, and really has allowed us to kind of carve that, 
that name and space out. That is really nice, and of course we've used you with uh, a few of our projects, and it, it's uh, it has been really nice having your your staff reachable and able to to, to handle problems. And yeah, you know, I, I think our staff are, are sort of the biggest differentiator. I think we we have an amazing team of people um, who are all really devoted to the success of the customer. Uh, we we sort of we without the customers we're, we're nobody, right? Uh, so, and, and the whole team understands that. We feel really fortunate to have, have the group of people that we do. Cool. Great. Well, thanks for talking with us. Thank you.